Hi everyone, I am Candice Porter and welcome back to this YouTube channel. We focus a lot on project management. Today I want to talk about something very important, AI or artificial intelligence. As a project manager, there's a good chance that you may have had your hands on generative AI at this point. And I want to showcase a few tools that are offered through Project Management Institute for free if you are a member. So the two things that we're really going to look at are their free trainings focused on AI. So Project Management Institute is really helping project managers upskill in the AI world. So they have three free courses as of today. I'll highlight those. Along with one of those courses comes a great guide called Prompt Engineering. Basically, that's a fancy way of saying how you ask the questions to a generative AI tool. So that's the first thing we're going to focus on. The second thing, I want to show you PMI's Infinity tool. So this is their generative AI model that is designed to really support project managers with doing even better on their projects. So let's get started. I'm going to navigate to Project Management Institute's site, and I am already logged in. I am a Project Management Institute member. So again, these things are free for members. PMI.org is the website here. And once you hit the landing page and you're logged in, if you navigate to learning, you'll see right here, and scroll down to the free online courses. So it is the third option down on the far left-hand side under learning. You click on that. It's going to highlight the free courses that they have for Project Management Institute members. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. The first one is Generative AI Overview for Project Managers. The second one is the Data Landscape of Generative AI for Project Managers. And the third one here is Talking to AI Prompt Engineering for Project Managers. When I was talking about a free guide to help you with the prompting piece of it, that is associated with the Talking to AI Prompt Engineering for Project Managers. So you can click in here, you can learn more, and you can enroll in this training course. It's three PDUs for anyone that is trying to maintain a Project Management Institute certification, or if you're working towards your education hours to sit for a Project Management Institute certification, then you get three education hours towards that. I highly recommend this course. I think it was a really good one. And I wanna show you some of the tips that are in this guide. This is the 67 page Prompt Engineering for Project Managers workbook. I was actually very impressed with the quality of this and it is encouraged to share this. You can share a little bit of it on social media. So if you wanna do a screenshot and share it on social media, Project Management Institute is encouraging sharing this. And so I think that's really cool that they're creating a community of really people sharing their content and so forth. You'll see right here, this is page two of the guide. This PDF is meant to be shared, share the whole thing, take screenshots of it. We are sharing the whole thing. So if you want to look down in the description of this video, there's going to be a link to where you can download this. Highly recommended so that you download this and you continue to get better at prompting generative AI tools. Again, fancy way of saying this is how you ask the question. I am going to skip to page 15 of this guide because this is one of the more simple ways to prompt generative AI and I think it's easy to remember. And if you're just now getting your hands on generative AI, it's a great start. Even if you're seasoned, I've been using generative AI for a while now, um, I think it's a really great way to remind yourself to prompt. So this is called the RTF formula. It stands for role, for task, and format. So what we're really talking about 
is informing the generative AI model of what role they should be playing. So you are playing a project manager, you are playing a junior project manager, you are playing an experienced project manager, you are playing an executive sponsor. So you describe to kick off exactly what role you want the generative AI model to play. And when we're talking about generative AI models, if that is pretty new to you, we're talking about tools such as ChatGPT. There's a free model of ChatGPT out there if you haven't used it yet. We're talking about a tool like Copilot. Copilot is Microsoft's version of that. There's also a tool called Gemini. There's a tool called Claude. A lot of these are really creating content for you. That's what the generative piece of it is. So you can ask it to do something and it produces something based on the prompt that you give it. So that's what we're talking about. PMI's Infinity tool is also generative AI and we're gonna take a look at that momentarily. So RTF formula, the role, the very specific task that you're asking the generative AI tool to really focus on, and then the format. So this is a great example here. You are an experienced project manager that specializes in facility renovations and construction management. So it's got the role and some additional contacts there. Your task is to identify potential risk in this renovation project, dot, dot, dot. I'll leave that to you to read. And then create a risk register with the project's potential risk in table format. So this is a great formula to start with when we're talking about how to prompt generative AI. RTF, role, task, format. So again, check out the description of this video below. We're going to have a link to this 67 page guide this is a very small part of it. There's a lot of tips and tricks throughout this guide published by Project Management Institute that is going to, I think, really help you in embracing generative AI as a project manager. So that's part one of what I wanted to cover in this video. Part two, if you haven't used PMI's Infinity tool, it's their generative AI model really designed for project managers. So let's take a look at that. I am back on PMI's kind of website here. So this is, if I click here where it says Project Management Institute, this is taking me back to the main page. You can navigate this by going to resources and then PMI Infinity AI tool. If you click on that, it's going to take you to another page and you can try PMI Infinity. Again, if you're logged in to your PMI account and you're a member, this is going to be free for you. I have already prompted this tool, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Once you get into the tool, you have the ability to use the chat here. And that's what I'm going to keep it focused on for this actual session is prompting PMI Infinity's tool and showing you what it looks like. Up here is where I prompted it. And I said, as a senior project manager, you have been tasked with creating a risk management plan for an affordable housing project that is being constructed. You plan to break ground on this development in June of 2025, and the goal is to be leased up by February 2026. Provide the top 10 risk and proposed mitigation plans in the form of a table. So we use the R, so the role is a senior project manager, and we gave some additional context. The task is to help create a risk management plan and come up with the top 10 risk for this affordable housing project. And then we ask for it in the form of a table. So once I clicked enter and I typed that prompt right in here. So down here where it says, ask me about project management. I typed that all in, I clicked enter, and then this is the response that it came up with. 
So it's got really clearly the top 10 risk here and then the mitigation plans here. And it gave exactly what I asked for. So I'm going to ask it to add another column with a contingency plan for each of the risk that were identified. I clicked enter on there and it's as simple as this. You start with your RTF format, you ask it to do something and then you continue to work with it on refinement. So now I've got the same top 10 risk. It has mitigation plans in there and then it's got contingency plans in here. So if I don't like some of the answers here, and that's important, use this as a draft. Don't copy and paste this and use this as a work deliverable. Generative AI does make mistakes. It sometimes spits stuff out that doesn't make much sense, at least to me. And so you have to refine it. I may say, now let's boil this down to the top five risk. And I don't like the contingency plan associated with number five, so let's change it to be this. But you get to keep going back and forth and making the product or the outcome better and better and better. I wanted to keep this video short, and we focused on two things. One, project management has three free trainings right now for generative AI, teaching you how to use it. The training that I focused on um, is really that talking to AI course that I highlighted earlier. And that's the one that I got the 67 page prompt engineering guide for that I am sharing a link in the comments below so that you can go out there and benefit from it as well. The RTF, Role Task Format. It's a great approach if you're getting your hands on generative AI. There's other approaches that are in that guide. There's another one called Create, and there's a lot of other great tips and tricks. So I encourage you to download that. Then we took a look at PMI's Infinity Tool. So this is their generative AI model where you prompt it, it spits out what you've asked for, and you go back and forth to refine it. So this can save you a lot of time. That's one of the main goals of AI. It saves you time so that you can focus on higher value activities. My name is Candace Porta and I am the CEO of Effective Flow Connections. We actually work with a lot of organizations on consulting and we're bringing AI tools to some of our clients to help them work more effectively and efficiently. Definitely feel free to reach out if we can help you with anything. And if you like this video, please subscribe below. If you subscribe and like the video, it's much appreciated. We're going to be bringing you some great additional content focused again on project management in coming weeks and months. Have a great day. Thank you for joining.